We're joined now with Parker McLaughlin and Parker. Uh, you played with a pretty high-profile guy, not golf, but basketball. Uh, tell us about basketball with Barack, and how'd you get into the game? Yeah, well, my dad was his high school basketball coach back in the late 70s, and they were getting a, a reunion kind of a game together uh, while Barack and his family were here for the holidays, and so somehow they invited my dad, and he sort of finagled away for me to get into the game, and so it worked out pretty good, and and it was it was pretty cool. I wish I could have taken him on the golf course, but you know I was kind of on his turf. I, I it's it had been a while, probably over uh, about a year since I played a little pickup basketball game. So uh, he was he was pretty good. He was shining on on his turf. <laughs> Talk about the other people who were there, and uh, I imagine lots of press and security. Yeah, actually there was there was a lot of security, not a lot of press. It was there was no cameras in the gym and. It was just uh, it was just his reunion, sort of just guys that graduated in his class, and my dad was sitting on the bench there, sort of heckling slash coaching, and and it was fun. It was uh, you know you could tell that that the guys they didn't look at him as the president elect. It was it was still you know they still called him Barry, and you know it was uh, you know it was it was pretty refreshing to see someone that, that, that's that high of a, of a stature. You know, come back to his roots and, and play with, you know, come back and, and just play a pickup pick up game with his friends again. Talk about your first impressions on meeting uh, the president-elect. <clears throat> you know, he, he was one of those one of those kind of meetings where he was really engaged, really genuine, and you know, he, sh he shook your hand, looked you straight in the eye. Hey, how you doing? You know, nice to meet you. How's what what are, what's what are things going on in your life? Tell me about you know what's going on with you, and whether that's you know something he's learned through politics. Maybe he's gotten a little bit better at it, but you know you really genuinely felt his his care and compassion for you, even if you just met him. You know, and and to me, he really made it about everyone else in the room rather than about himself, and that spoke a lot. You know, and I think that was one of the main things I picked up on. Ask for any golf tips? You know, he did. He said, he said, you know, in about in about eight years, I'm going to be taking up the game pretty seriously. And he said, well, maybe in about four years, depending on how the economy goes. But, you know, he said in, a, in about eight years, he's going to be taking it up a little more seriously. And and he'll be, uh, I said, I said, well, I'll be sitting by my phone waiting for that phone call, you know, when you're ready to go play some golf. What was more stressful for you, defending the president-elect or walking down the final stretch at Reno last year? <laughs> uh, I'd probably say a little of both. You know, you, you got a bunch of bunch of uh, security. You know, the president's detail there. You know, with their guns and everything, getting ready to, you know, watching you and as you as you're guarding him, and I'm, you know, he's backing me in, and I'm, you know, kind of putting a forearm to him and. That's that's a little nerve wracking, you know, and, and you try to block that out. But uh, Reno was Reno was was also, you know, one of those situations where it's you know high high drama, high stress, and and but that one that one had a pretty uh, pretty cool outcome, and, and so did the so did the game with with the president. Except our team ended up losing. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Barry's overall game, and maybe the strengths of his game and his overall game. Yeah, it's funny. My dad actually commented they. You know, they called him Barry back, back in high school, and he said that that uh, Barack is is a much better basketball player than Barry was, and you know, meaning that he's he's grown up a lot, and he, he learned he learned the, the value of passing and getting the teammates involved, and, and he was a really good passer, uh, really good on the break, s saw the guys, saw the lanes well, uh, and he was a good slasher. He really liked to get to the basket, but the you know the interesting thing about getting to the basket is that you know he's He's the president, you know. I mean, there's nobody coming in there trying to make a hard foul. I mean, sees part a little bit, you know, as he's driving the lane. But you know, he was he was really really skilled, and, and for for being 46, 47 years old, you know, I was I was impressed. He never took a playoff. He was running hard, and and played hard for you know the four games. I heard you defended him on a few plays, uh, a few elbows in there, and if so, uh, do you look up and see uh, who's reaching for a gun, maybe or something? <laughs> yeah, I I was defending him. He he actually decided to guard me starting starting uh, the third game, and, and he said, "All right, I'll." Actually, I, I only played the one game, so he decided to guard me starting that game, and he says, uh, 
And he says, all right, I'm going to guard the golfer. And he looked down at me. He said, you got tennis shoes on. Who has tennis shoes on? We're playing basketball. He said, coach, can't you buy, buy your son some basketball shoes? So that was, that was pretty funny. You know, he's kind of just making a joke. And he said, well, I'll, I'll guard the golfer. You know, he, he probably don't have much of a shot. I'll, I'll guard the golfer. And uh, I wish I could. I wish I could say I, I lit it up on him and made a made a shot on him. I, I took a, took a few and, and they were real close. But uh, I ended up playing a little bit more defense and, and holding him to just one basket. He'd been averaging about four baskets up until up until when I guarded him. So I felt pretty good about my my guarding skills, my defensive skills. That shut down defense from Parker. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I wonder if we'll ever hear about that. Uh, or maybe he'll call you when he has some need for defensive help. But uh, Parker, as always, thanks for your time and uh, have a great year this year. Yeah, thanks, Tom. I appreciate it.